The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with Tom Brady and the defending Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. Check, check, walk 54, walk 54. Stop your wire. Now the leading rusher for the Pats last year is a rookie, Sony Michelle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Well, there's no shortage of great young runners in the NFL, but don't forget about that guy, Sony Michel. First round pick in 2018. Almost hit 1,000 yards as a rookie, 931 to be exact, to go along with six scores for the former Georgia Bulldog. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Brady now to throw. He gets it to James White. And he'll be corralled out across midfield Let's down to the 45. 15 yards on the play, first down. Good route, good pickup for first down yardage. And that is a tough one to cover, the angle route, because a running back getting out of the backfield, if you're trying to cover that, especially if you're in the linebacker spot and you're seeing this play develop, he heads out towards the flat first. And that often gets you to overcommit running in that direction. Then he cuts back up inside you into the middle of the field. That's what we just saw there for a nice pickup. That throw by Brady incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. On the ground, Michelle. And he takes this for about six down inside the 40. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. On play action, now Brady. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Fletcher Cox, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, ringing the cowbell there on the sack. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle. And frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fate. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well we into go. the end zone go. for a touchback. Here we go. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Shotgun now for Wentz. Man open, it's J.J. Ortega Whiteside. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Working from the gun, Wentz. Got his man, it's Arcega right side. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A big pickup there for the Eagles first down, 18 yards. 
Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now a two-time 1,000-yard rusher for the Bears. This is Jordan Howard. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. From the gun, it's Wins. And this is going to be incomplete. I think we'll see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. On fourth down, out is the punter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. And now out come the Patriots. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Yeah, Brady's throw there incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time, but it's going to be second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Wait, Brady's wait, incompletion wait. on first down leads to a second and I ten. Can't I can't believe they even let you play. Hey, both are 66. Throwing again. Brady. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. And they're able to get this one across the Let's 35. Go. Let's go. Let's go. 11 yards there. First down. Second tour of duty for Watson with the Patriots. Remember, New England drafted him way back in 2004 out of Northwestern. He retired in the offseason after finishing the campaign with New Orleans, but decided to come back for one more go-around with the Patriots, and they might need him, especially with Rob Gronkowski no longer in uniform. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Nine yards is the pickup there, and they'll have a second and one. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second and a yard, Brady. That's caught by his tight end, Matt Lacoste. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup, first down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Let's go! Let's do it! A good pick up there, a 22. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, tight end, selling the vertical route. Get the defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner, and with good timing, you get a completion, as we just saw there. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Brady gives to Michelle. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That was a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short gain. 
Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee. And that means fourth down. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. I'll bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. And they got awfully close. Now we're at fourth and inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here <laughs> and maybe want to go pick it up. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple of extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still play a sock. Throwing on first is Wentz. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. These two teams, the Eagles and the Pats, did not meet in the regular season last year, so their last official bout was in Super Bowl 52 in Minneapolis. Everybody remembers that one with the Eagles staking claim to their first ever title. And the Philly special went down in football history with Nick Foles catching the pass from Trey Burton in the end zone. What a game that was. Dante Hightower on the stop. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Wentz. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Well, he's going to go for it all. Well, the two men come together and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. But well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 26. They begin with Michelle on the ground. 
And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second and nine, Brady. The Philip Dorsett holds it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Let's go. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Check 26. Check 26. Rip. They'll run with Michelle. Takes this to the 45. Not much space there after the nice move. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, Michelle. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Wait, set. Wait, Eddie. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, where's the hut? 64, 64. 63, down. From the gun on third down, Brady. He's got Sanu. And he's going to have the first Let's down go, yardage to the go. 35. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Mohamed Sanu is a guy that is often overlooked because he just quietly goes about his business. But how about last season? Had a career-high 838 yards on 66 catches, and he can also play Wildcat quarterback for you as well. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also an action game, and they reacted poorly on that one. My now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. Here we go. Here we go. Regular, regular. From the gun, it's Brady. That's caught by the tight end, Lacoste. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. That'll go as a pickup of eight. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now a play fake here on first down. Going to throw deep for the end zone, and that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Now a play fake. Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Timmy Jernigan with a sack. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that will be incomplete. That's a good job there, creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now, since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. Made his first. This now from 46 yards away. And his kick is good. Didn't hit it all that well, but he got enough on it to put it through. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. 
No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is taken at his four. Then he'll take this across the 25, couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now, Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. They've had it twice. They've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. <laughs> what do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jason McCourty, a safety blitz and a sack. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> oh, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Wentz. It's caught by Aguilar. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. <laughs> On first down, Wentz completes it to Aguilar. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. That's Aguilar with it on the jet sweep. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, not a big gain with that play, but what they're doing is they're spreading the defense out probing a little bit, and what they're hoping probably is that later in the game, they can create a matchup that they can exploit for big yardage later. Here's Sproles. He's got a first out and more inside the 30. And down to the 28-yard line. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. On first down, they run with Howard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Throwing his wins. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Jamie Collins. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. It's a team game, but sometimes individuals do stand out, don't they? How about that for a twofer? Tackle for loss on the running play on the previous down, and then comes right back and gets a sack. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Wentz now to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. Not after the sack, he's still down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back.
Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And he puts a little something extra into this one, by far his best of the night. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe somebody to press it a little bit. This might be the case. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Yeah, the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen hey, will take the bait 20. and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Brady on the crossing route. That's caught. Julian Edelman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Brady going to throw. Complete to Watson, the tight end. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. To throw is Brady. This is White on the screen. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. With James White, you know that he can catch the football. He was third in the NFL amongst running backs last year with 87 catches. And as we've seen, sometimes they come in bunches. Super Bowl 51, he had 14 grabs, including the winning score. Last year in the divisional round versus the Chargers, 15 receptions for White. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Brady to Michelle on the dump off. Call it a gain of three, and it'll be a second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Play action, now it's Brady. And his throw here is incomplete. Ben Watson was the intended target, the tight end. But now it'll be third down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant it a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. 
NFL kickers nowadays, they make things look so easy because normally from this range, about two out of three. And this is not an easy kick. Yeah, 20 years ago, you get where he was in that 50 range, maybe a little over. And it's a big kick, but now we just, if they leave it short, you're like, whoa, what happened? And that's that's what we have here. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 20 years ago, we were saying run some more plays and get closer. Now we think they're definitely within range, and you're exactly right. When it comes up short, there has to be something that went wrong because they have plenty of leg. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Wentz now, 6 of 10 in this first town. He's got his guys a first down here. Wentz going to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Here's Wentz to throw. That's complete to Isaiah Whiteside. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 34-yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. To throw, it's Wentz. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. The Eagles into the red zone for the first time. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. Again, it's Wentz. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. But it'll be second and goal. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. On second and goal, Wentz got a man open. It's Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A nine-yard touchdown there as his guys can now take the lead with the extra point. Well, the lost sleep that the defensive coordinator had all week preparing for this game, a good portion of it was trying to prepare for him because yeah. he's absolutely a phenomenal player. And a lot of times around the goal line, they know it's going to him. It's just so hard to stop. And that's where it really becomes difficult because you're exactly right. They know it's going to him, yet they still can't stop it. That tells you when you're a dominant player. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. Under a minute to play here in the half. Time for a late drive. It makes sense when you think about it. Hey, try and get a field goal. Give yourself a lead going into the half. But if you're going to do this, you better have supreme trust in your quarterback. Supreme trust in the guy who's going to handle the football. Because if you turn it over here, not only do you go in down at the half, you've given the momentum squarely to your opponent. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. Philip Dorsett, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. 
to throw. It's Brady. Looking sideline incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. This is Michelle on the counter. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position, not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Well, one thing's for sure. When you've got a big receiver, and you trust him downfield, you're going to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. Once again here on second and 10. This one complete to Sproles. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Shotgun now for Wentz. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Cameron Johnston now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end go. zone, and go. that'll be a touchback. Here we go. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. So we're at halftime with our score 7-6 in a tough-fought first half. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, all right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and no Let's run back here. Three. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 20. 25 yard line. A quick throw there out to Jeffrey. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. We are seeing two really confident defenses. 
imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely. Going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. If there's any way they can find something that can pop, here something here big to knock them back on their heels. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Now Wentz. And he's going to go down again. That would be exactly what they were looking for coming out to start the third quarter. Get a sack, get off the field, get the momentum going in their direction. Get the ball back to your offense, right? Get that momentum because, hey, this lead is very, very slim. Here's Cameron Johnston now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Patriots take over. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Shotgun now for Brady. That's complete to his running back, Burkhead. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They are down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. On second down now, Michelle, and he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Brady to throw on third and one. He's got Sanu. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 33. That time a slant, Brady in general on those quick hitters, he just releases the ball so fast. He does, and he's so accurate, but most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. Here's Brady to throw. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Brady now going to leave it with Michelle on the draw, and he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense Wait, think that? it's Why going to be a pass. Let's go, D. Big series right here. Ozzie. Ozzie. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Second down and goal. Brady. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. 
Here comes third and goal. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. Here's Nick Folk now on for the field goal. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Folk's kick is good. And they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. All nine points for him coming via the field goal, and this last one puts him out in front. All the field goals are great, but you know I'm going to get pessimistic here, right? Because... You've got to score touchdowns to win games in the NFL. I just wonder if all these field goals, great now, I wonder if they'll come back and haunt them later on. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage. Looking for Jeffrey, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw, a free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Sproles. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. After seeing that, maybe time to go back to some downfield throws here. Yeah, anything, change it up, because the teams that win, the best teams, they're the ones that make adjustments. Doesn't mean you can't come back to what you thought you could get done. Sometimes when you open things up a little bit, you can get back to what you wanted to do before. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. 
And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he'll come on to kick for a six time tonight. He gets this away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's gonna be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. First down, here's White. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now they stay on the ground this time it's michelle and he'll be brought down oh that's a face mask certainly looked like it indeed here come the flags well we looked at each other right away we knew that flag was coming out and i always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Well, now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's Brady. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. To throw again, Brady. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. 23 yards the pick up there. The former seventh round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. Michelle on an island by himself in the backfield, second and goal. Brady going to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Benjamin Watson there to make the grab. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me, very precise. Methodical, that's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. 
And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. A run there on first down gets him a yard to the 26. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, Creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. That's Aguilar with it on the jet sweep. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Eagles on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and ten. From the gun, it's Wins. Open man, Arthega Whiteside. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. Now Wins. It's caught by Aguilar. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the ground, this is Michelle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down oh, yeah. to the 15 from the 21. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. New England on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities. Three for nine. Here it's third and two. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there, 
there as his guys will get the football back. He was looking for Edelman there. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 13. To throw is Wentz. And his throw is incomplete. J.J. Arthega whiteside the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Throwing again on second and ten. Wentz. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. Throwing now is Wentz. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. And no return on this one as that kicks out of bounds, so they'll start just outside of their own 30-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field, and they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. Now Michelle. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? Uh, I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. The pro bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. You gotta give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just wanna get him to the promised land for every runner, 100 yards or more in a game. And that's gonna be intercepted. Malcolm Jenkins, the pro bowler, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. It's brought in by Jeffrey. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Delayed give to Sproles. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Let's go. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Wentz going to throw. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. 
So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throwing his wins. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Draw play. This is Sproles. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Wentz going to try and throw on third. And Jeffrey's got it. An eagle first down. Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. On first and 10, here's Wentz. It's complete. It sprawls. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. Here's Wentz to throw, and he'll hit Jeffrey complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. So with the completed pass and the yardage they got, they'll decline the penalty. So obviously more yards on the pass completion than they would have gained with the penalty. They did the math, they did it well, and it works for them. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and 10. Shotgun now for Wentz. This is taken in by Jeffrey. He's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Alshon Jeffrey. There to make the grab. And the Eagles get a score closer. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. They go for just one here as it's up and good. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is secured by the Patriots. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. 
And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense end with a big play. Now Brady. And the throw there gonna be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The veteran Jason McCourty there to make sure that one didn't find its target. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. To throw his wins. And that's complete to Jeffrey. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On the ground is Michelle. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Again, it's Michelle. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. This is Michelle, and an alley to run, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. Wait, set, 29, Alpha, 54. <laughs> The Patriots in the victory formation as they'll take the knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, 
<laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, they did in this one. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And I'll tell you what, it has not been with a whole lot of frequency over the last couple of decades or so that teams have come into New England and escaped with a victory, but that's what happened here. It almost doesn't feel real, does it? <laughs> We've seen it so few times. That actually happened, right? We saw it. They came out of there with a win. And on the other side, in that locker room, you know what they're saying? We didn't really lose. Time just ran out on us. That's the <laughs> attitude they have because they don't see it happen very often. Not even sure how to handle it. And you see some stunned faces heading for the exits here in New England. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say 24-hour cheesesteak shop, here we come. Oh, yeah, and I'm buying, partner. <laughs> and guess what? I'm having mine with. And I'm having two if you're buying. Good night from Philadelphia.